Good day, YouTube. This is just another quick, fun comparison video between, uh, in this case, Windows FX 11 on the left and Windows 11 on the right. Uh, the difference of which is that uh, the one on the left is actually Linux-based. It's just pretending to look like uh, Windows and does actually a pretty decent job of it, in my opinion, there. Uh, something I'll also mention is the fact that it does have actual legitimate versions right from Microsoft of Microsoft Edge and uh, Microsoft Teams, that chat up there as well. So that's pretty interesting stuff there. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into some of the CPU and RAM uh, comparisons here. Just a baseline RAM comparison video, really. And I'm just trying to get the task manager up on the fake version and realizing it's not actual real Windows so it is tricking me a little bit there which is kind of funny but uh, I'll go to the terminal and uh, find out what's going on so this is actually based on Ubuntu true story there but uh, it's also uh, running on the KDE Plasma desktop environment just to get that that fake in look and feel that customized uh, Windows look now let's load up a few things here and see now CPU oh, mostly idling there about 20% there at the moment 10% uh, drop back to 8 or so and 0 now for the left hand side for the fake Windows FX 11 as they call it and on the right hand side it is a bit choppy it is what Windows does though uh, now let's have a look at the RAM usage on boot up so nothing else loaded in, uh, loaded up in the background except for the, the operating system itself I'm running about 800 megabytes of RAM on boot up which is pretty uh, it's not the best for Linux but it's not the worst but uh, when we compare it to our buddy here, Windows 11, running at about 2 gig of RAM on boot up, not even including any extra uh, installed drivers. It is running on a virtual machine. In fact, I'm lying. I'm being nicer to it. It's actually running on 2.3 gigabytes of RAM, so it's even higher. So that's uh, 8, 16, 24, about 300% more RAM utilization on boot up. So pretty crazy stuff, really. Uh, always something to keep in mind, depending on the hardware you might want to install one of these puppies on. But that's pretty much it, guys. Just a super simple, quick video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.